Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today in learning the stockinette stitch with the garter rich. These three rows here features our stockinette stitch and the garter rich is easily recognizable right here. It is a very light fabric not dense at all, perfect for a young girl's scarf and matching hat, no curly edges. This is the right side of your work. This is the left side of your work. If you are new to my channel, love for you to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. We will only use knit and pearl stitches for this pattern. This is a four row pattern repeat and you can cast on as many stitches as you like for this pattern this is row number one we will knit all stitches i am using the continental knitting method For row number two, we will purl all stitches. So you basically knit the stitch as you see it. For row number three, once again, we will knit all stitches. Continental knitting is often referred to as speed knitting. You can knit very fast with this method as you can see. This scene was not speed up. This is a regular knitting speed for me. Here is our last stitch of row number three. Here are rows one, two, and three. These three rows represent our stockinette stitch for this pattern. Row number four is what creates the garter ridge. Normally, if you knit as the stitch appears, you would purl this stitch, but instead you will knit the fourth row all the way across. And here we go guys, here is our cute little garter ridge. It is a full row repeat, but it's a very easy one and perfect pattern to practice your knit and purl stitches if you are new to knitting. I just love the light feel of this fabric and I think you guys would like it too. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.